Hello everybody in the Colts of Razor Gaming channel. My name is Matt, also known as Receding Hairline Man, and today we're going to be looking at the best weapon in Halo 4, and we're going to start with the primary weapons and slowly work our way down to the secondary weapons, and we're going to start with the spread mechanic. This will determine how accurate the weapon is at range, and usually the one that is the most accurate at more ranges is the better weapon. And I'm also going to be testing them at two different ranges, both at long range and at a medium range, since that will be where most of your encounters will take place, since the maps on Halo 4 are quite large. And here are the results. I've taken the liberty of highlighting the actual bullet impact sites so that you guys can see the spread just a little bit easier. And as I expected, the DMR came out on top with by far the lowest amount of spread. And I was spamming the trigger on all of these tests as fast as I possibly could, which to me indicates that they're, the bloom that is on the DMR is almost entirely, if not entirely, aesthetic, which means unlike Halo Reach, you should not worry about pacing your shots and you should just shoot as fast as you possibly can. As long as you can remain accurate, your shots are almost always going to connect. Anyways, the next thing that I'm going to test on each of these rifles is the time it takes to kill. And I gotta admit so far, before knowing the results of this, that it looks like the DMR is going to come out on top, but I can't say for sure. Maybe these kill times or some other stats might surprise us. And I'm about to do multiple tests here on the light rifle because it's a pretty complicated weapon. So let me explain it for you. When you're not zoomed in, it is a five shot kill and a three round burst weapon. And when you zoom in, it becomes a single shot weapon and a four shot kill. And there is a little trick that you can do where you zoom in and hit one shot that is zoomed and then you can zoom back out and hit three more consecutive shots and it will still be a four shot kill which does actually make it the fastest killing primary rifle. And this trick can be very useful especially in close quarter situations where you just need to hit one zoom shot and then three unzoom shots and you'll have a very very fast kill time. Obviously this has an advantage over weapons like the DMR and the BR because they are five shot kills. So if you can get four shots off before they can get five off, obviously that is a huge advantage. You can kill them much faster than they can kill you. And now we're gonna take a look at how many shots combined with a melee it's gonna take to take down an enemy. And for all the rifles, except for the light rifle, when you zoom in and the carbine, it's gonna be a three shot and then a melee to get the kill. Uh, but with the light rifle, there is another trick you can do where if you zoom in and hit two shots and then zoom out and then melee, you will get the kill. And of course, with the carbine, it is a lower damage but higher rate of fire gun, so it's going to take six shots and then a melee to kill an enemy. Now, in summary, I would have to say that the DMR is the clear winner, at least in my eyes, for the simple fact that it has the lowest spread. It has the fastest kill time outside of the light rifle, which I'll go over in just a second why. The light rifle having a faster kill time doesn't necessarily make it the better weapon. It's on par in terms of how many shots um, plus a melee will result in the kill. And overall, it just is very accurate at range. And the reason for that is, and this goes back to why I prefer it over the light rifle, even though it theoretically has the fastest kill time and the best stats, uh, the DMR is hit scan, whereas the light rifle is not. And what that basically means is that at range, when your reticule turns red, your shots are almost always going to connect because it's not firing an actual projectile. The light rifle fires an actual projectile, which means it has a travel time. Much like the Halo 3 BR, you would have to lead your shots, and this is the same case with the light rifle. And for that simple fact, the DMR is much more accurate. Just think back to the Halo 2 BR, which was hit scan and did not fire a projectile. It was almost like a laser beam, and that's pretty much how the DMR is currently. And for that simple fact, I believe the DMR is by far the best primary weapon in the game. However, it does have some stiff competition. I find myself using the BR on smaller maps uh, where the lines of sight aren't necessarily as long. Haven and Adrift come to mind, and some of the Forge maps. Um, but overall, I would say that the best choice if you're looking for consistency uh, is always going to be the DMR. And now let's take a look at the secondary weapons. And of course, we're going to start out again with a spread test. And this time, instead of doing a long and a mid-range test, we're going to do a close and a mid-range test. 
for the simple fact that you really don't want to be using any of these weapons out of those ranges because they're just simply not going to be very effective at long range as I'm sure you guys know. And here are the results. Again, I highlighted them so that you could see it a little bit easier. And as you can tell, they all performed fairly similarly, so I wouldn't really give any gun an advantage in this specific area. But let's move on to the actual amount of shots with these weapons that it'll take to get a kill. And with the Magnum, you're looking at a six shot kill. With the Plasma Pistol, it is going to be a 12 shot kill. And then finally, with the Bolt Shot, it's going to be an 11 shot kill, which does mean that it has a maximum magazine capacity of 10. So you're going to have to reload if you're trying to single shot somebody with the Bolt Shot. Not a very good idea if you're going to be using the Bolt Shot as a single shot weapon. And just in case you were wondering how many shots combined with the melee it's going to take to take down an enemy using your secondary weapon, I've got you covered. The Plasma Pistol as well as the Magnum are a 3 shot and then a melee kill, and the Bolt Shot is going to be a 6 shot and then a melee kill. Of course, you could also overcharge the Plasma Pistol or the Bolt Shot, which would result in a faster kill, but just in case you were wondering, there it is. And now for the special ability of each of the secondary weapons, starting with the Plasma Pistol, you can overcharge the Plasma Pistol for an EMP which will take out vehicles as well as enemy shields which will allow you to take out the enemy vehicle or get an easy cleanup kill with a precision weapon. As for the Bolt Shot, you can overcharge it and it becomes almost like a shotgun. It actually has farther range than all of the shotguns, that means both the Scatter Shot and the Human Shotgun. It is incredible, it's definitely one of the most powerful secondaries. The only problem with the bolt shot is that you have to be very well timed. As you can see during this video, I missed my first shot because I timed it incorrectly, but it's very easy to learn how to time it correctly once you practice with it a little bit. Now you might not realize it at first, but the Magnum actually does have a special ability too, and that's its range. It has by far the best range of any secondary weapon, which does make it a very good contender for best secondary weapon. And in closing, I'd just like to say there's no clear winner. However, I did emerge with a favorite weapon, and that's been the Magnum. Uh, just for the sheer versatility of the Magnum, it can be used at most ranges. There's really only a few maps where you're going to be completely out of range to where it's not even effective to use. Um, so that is why it's my favorite. However, the other two are very good competitors. It really comes down to the situation that you're in. For example, the Plasma Pistol is really best suited for big team, where there's going to be a lot of vehicles that you can EMP and then take them out and help your team out. Uh, it's also very good for taking out shields, but again, I kind of prefer either the Bolt Shot or the Magnum in close quarters. So that kind of really uh, uh, makes the Plasma Pistol obsolete. And uh, the Bolt Shot is really only good in close quarters engagements. And for that simple reason, it's not really up there for me. It is very, very powerful if you use it as a camper's tool, although I wouldn't recommend it because you're going to make a lot of people mad. And um, there's just better, more skillful choices such as the Magnum. But I, I can't make that decision for you. Overall, like I said, the Magnum is my favorite. Uh, but I can't award any of them a clear winner title because they are so situational. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like rating or check out any of the other videos here on this Cult of Razor Gaming channel. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.